Hey gang, Bill here from High Ground Tiles. Would like to show you today um, one of the features that we have in our tiles, and this is a how-to video to utilize it. What we're going to try to accomplish here is show you how to take advantage of one of our um, special effects, and that is a lighted uh, feature, which is always look which always looks cool on a game board. So, anyways, I'll show you how to do this. It's going to be pretty simple and also inexpensive. So, we'll get started. To do this, you need to first go down to the store and buy yourself a um, luminescence light. This costs you a buck. And um, so it's 50 cents a, a, a light. And these are the, we'll use components out of these to make this work for you. This also happens to have a flickering effect, which I think is pretty cool. It kind of gives, you know, again, I, I don't know if you saw that here, but it gives you a kind of a neat look. Um, you know, in, in your lighting effect. So let's show you how to put that together. We'll just rip this open and take one of these. Very simple little piece. Um, we're going to use three components out of this um, entire set. So let's take it apart and save aside the, aside the things that we want to keep. And I'll walk you through that. There is a single screw that is uh, required to take out of here so you can get the battery out. There we go. And just take the battery cover off. Take the battery out. We're going to take this whole piece off to get to the light, which is what we want. There's also this little on-off switch. We're not going to use that. Our solution is really simple. And then there's the light itself. The one thing that you want to be careful with is that the um, the leads on this LED are pretty fragile. If you bend them too much, they will break off. So you have to be careful with that. Okay, so there's that. All of these components we don't need. So we'll just take get rid of this. Um, this is the main housing. Put the little switch in there the battery cover, the screw, and this main component here. None of that is going to be used. You can just throw it away. But these are the three pieces that we're going to use. It's this little plastic piece here. This is going to be our on-off switch. Uh, again, this is not a high-tech solution. It's just something that's very simple to do and create. So we've got a 3-volt battery and the LED. And this is the flickering LED, which is kind of cool. The hardest part is probably going to be preparing this LED to go into our printed part. And let me show you what that is. So over here, these <clears throat> this is our um, solution that uh, we utilize. We have one of our inserts that accepts this little adapter piece that has uh, a place to put the LED. The wires will go inside and then of course the battery slips right inside there. So let's get this one assembled first. <clears throat> the other thing too, um, you'll know, you'll probably, if you don't already know, that LEDs only work one way. So first we need to find out which way is the proper way um, to install this. So right now that one is the improper way, but if I flip it over, you'll see that it works. And that's all we're really gonna be doing is connecting those two leads off the LED onto this uh, into this battery. And so what we need to do is we need to configure these legs so that they work in this and really what you need to do is kind of create some bends here. And I'll try to do that while we're on the video here so you can see how much it takes, how much work it might be. Um, and then, then this guy, he's going to be bending out this way. And this is probably the most difficult part of this whole thing is finding the right angles on all of these pieces and to get them in the holes. And so you might just take it, take your time and, uh, and get that worked in here. All right, let's try this. I'm going to use this 
this gray one here so it's a little bit easier to see on the on the camera but what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert these uh, pieces here and again I'm just going to double check make sure that I've got this right so that when I put it in it's going to light up okay so there are two holes that are part of this print there's one that's right here inside of that little ring and there's another one that's right behind or right off to the side of it and those are the two holes we're going to insert both of these leads into and so uh, let's make sure I need to put a little bit more bend on this guy right here like that okay so kind of I mean I mean that's what it looks like right now and I think that should work let's see what uh, how that works out just slide it in to the hole slide it into the hole okay there's something's a little wrong we'll make a little bit more adjustment on this guy right here Alright, try that one more time. Put it in there. Put it in there. There we go. You might need to help it just a little. This is just getting it down inside that hole. And it can snap a little bit. It, it, designed to sit in there fairly snug so that it's pretty rigid. Um, now I'm going to look down inside here. There's a little bit of adjustment we need to make. Um, there is a little uh, cutout in here that one of these leads is supposed to kind of sit in and this is the this uh, top one here and we I don't know if you can see that but I just put it in there where there's a little wire and it goes in that little trough right there and let's see if that's going to work and again the positive side goes up I'm going to slide it in let's see if and the light should come on there we go so that is pretty much what we need to do to get that light um, working and then with this little piece right here this is going to be our on off switch and we're just going to stick it up underneath and it separates uh, the the lead from the battery so this is a way to turn it on and off really simple you can store it away this way and when you want to use it you just pull that out and you have yourself a lighted piece so <clears throat> this piece here um, you can print it in um, any color that you like whatever seems to make sense whatever you like this one is just white um, but you can do it. Uh, this is a trans, uh, translucent blue. This is a regular white. It's not a translucent color, as you can see, and it actually works pretty well. We're going to use this one as an example here, but the translucent ones also work pretty good, and we'll um, show you how this goes together. There are two little pegs, or there's two pegs here, and then there's two receivers in uh, in the tile. You just simply push those in here, and it snaps together and you get yourself a lighted insert. And to show you how that works, you know, you just input the insert in the tiles and you have yourself a cool little uh, design here. Now we have multiple different tiles. This is uh, the catwalk tile. Um, and we have a lava tile, um, which let me put the, it's in here kind of give you an idea this is some of the different effects that you can do and especially if you printed this in red that would be uh, excellent um, we have another one of these tiles these all of these tiles are 3d 3d effect tiles that actually have a pass through so you can actually see through them and uh, this one's called our mystic tile and I'll show you what that looks like here you know with this lighted effect so you can do this um, and you know have all different types of effects that you want to do um, you know you can do this any color of course that you like you know um, we have different different colors that you can you know you, you can print whatever color you want this is kind of a, 
a green one. Imagine the light being up underneath that. That'd be kind of cool. Um, and for the lava, like I said, if you had a red tile, um, you could just do that and have those look pretty cool. But for this one, we'll just use this, this tile here. It kind of gives it a good look. And it allows us to um, attach it to other file, uh, other tiles. And th this particular insert is too tall, uh, meaning it is two layers tall, two, two uh, tiles tall. And so you'll need to put those in there and to, to be able to put it onto a tile and have it fit properly. So anyways, but there you go. That's how we um, have um, how we can take advantage of that lighting effect. And it's pretty cool. Hopefully you guys get a chance to take uh, use it and, and um, have some fun with it. Thank you very much.